Hey guys, it's Mr. Jack at Triple Zero here, starting off with Firefighting Simulator The Squad. As you can obviously tell by the title, this is a firefighting simulation game. I've never played a sim game like this, even though I have knowledge in firefighting on Roblox, but nothing like this. The game was released on November 17th, 2020, and it's currently on sale for $20 compared to the original price of $25. So right now, let's get into the game and see if I can save people's homes. So let's go to new game, got a loading screen of a fire engine here, and let's see what we're going to come across to. We got my name, loading bar, and let's just wait till we see something. And here we are in a fire engine, and Jesus Sire, this is pretty loud. So we are a passenger in this here fire engine. No reflections of right now, but we could just move our head left and right, but not towards the driver's seat here. We got the steering wheel over there, you can barely see. And a smoke, a lot of smoke right up ahead here. Might as well have to tone down the graphic settings here because we're getting some of them stutters here and there. But let's see once we get on scene. And we got ourselves a police block in the road off. Looks like... Land Rovers or something, and holy fire. Now we're parking up front. We got ourselves a medic, a couple firemen going on scene. We got the house on fire. The garage and back end and a ladder fully extended. Got a fireman out there forming the tack line at the garage. Another shot up there, another fireman in the back right corner of the home. Now we got two firefighters and one inside. Looks like he's doing something here. And now we're in control, so use the WAS keys and see what's up. Alright, let's get our asses inside the home here and uh, save this person. And wow, look at all these freaking fire graphics here. Take the Halligan tool. Okay, how do I do so? E, grab Halligan in one space. Just grab Halligan, not grab Halligan. And hold the click to breach the door. Just like that. And get that person out of safety. Success. Um, no, he's dead. It broke my leg. This this dude's mouth is not moving. He's like, hey, I broke my leg. Uh, could you help me? How can you talk without moving your mouth? Carry the victim. Hold E to do so. And on our shoulders, let's bring him outside the house so he doesn't burn alive out here. And not only that, we can't shift to run to run to the ambulance. There was smoke everywhere. So he was working on something, fell, and we got a fire. So that's how... This has all happened. So place the victim on the gurney, just like that. All right, grab the nozzle and fight this here fire. So swap with attack light in one space and just spray at the garage. And also there are quench indicators in this game, but I turned them off because it's kind of got that arcade feel, what people said when they posted videos about this and in the Steam discussion pages, how the little quench indicators feel like an arcade or something. And uh, let me crouch to be a little more realistic. So... We got the car fully engulfed, the garage, the roof, and these palm trees are just regular trees in the back. So let's spray down the floor here and then gradually work our way up to the walls of the garage. Let's get some on the, um, the siding here that's been fully burned out because we got a good amount of fires on the siding here. Get to the back of the car, the back car rims, and then try to focus up with the roof so the roof fire doesn't really roll over to like another part of the house or nothing stupid so get some of the roof here and probably have to not really care about the uh palm trees because you just get the garage and that's it that's what i heard in this game you just do the garage and then you're done which that's pretty weird how you just do this and you'll pretty much be done for the day and even with this game about the smoke fire and water physics i heard they took like several months to develop and stuff like that for game optimizations to make it as realistic as possible like, this is pretty damn good of a $25 sim game that involves this firefight. He got these fires here, this smoke, and everything about it. This is almost like as realistic as you can get, you can get in the market. So we're pretty much almost all done with the wall section of the fire here. Get some on the, uh, looks like the shelf here. And then gradually, no, no, got these center blocks. It's really starting to flare up here at these center blocks. Just get this back here and gradually work up here at the roof of the garage. Try to avoid any fire rollovers until, um, so it doesn't even spread even further. All right, we got most of the roof done right above me. And I don't think I can get that one. So keep going into walls. The center blocks have reignited yet again. And we're pretty much like 80% done of this fire here. We got a little rollover on the top. Try to get care of that a little. Unless I have to just take care of the wall. 
Might as well take care of the wall. Because you do have to, like, watch out for fire rollovers so they don't spread into another room or go above you so you got the fire above your head or nothing stupid. Yeah, grab the nozzle. Uh, what do you think? I have a nozzle with me and I am attacking this fire. And with this game, there are AIs you could do either multiplayer, which a multiplayer is kind of shoddy as of right now. Because they heard in the Steam reviews are not that great. Like, there's trouble connecting to your friends and stuff like that or just random people in the multiplayer mode this game but you get three ai players you can choose from not players you can choose from but ai uh crew members so debriefing first step is our achievement and debriefed get a pan of the shot the title card at the bottom of firefighting simulator the squad and everything has calmed down in terms of the sound effects everything and that crackly noise wow Congratulations, you have successfully completed your first mission. You are now on the interactive city map, the ICM. Here you can select your next mission. Go! Cool. The next mission is already available to select. With growing experience, more will be unlocked. Go! Cool. Before responding to your next emergency, you need to sharpen your skills. No better place to start than the training facility. You can always visit it by selecting it in the ICM. You want to take a look at the training grounds now? Well, this is basically just tutorial levels like how to do stuff, so I might as well skip this. Like, I'll go to it, but I won't show you, like, everything about this facility because it'll get, like, boring real quick, showing, like, 10, 20, 30 different things you can do as a fireman in this game. So there's at least, like, a dozen things we could choose from. Let's do something simple. Let's just do the first one, the doors and walls, and then it's just show with a, um, real mission. Walk forward and open the door. That was very simple. All right, got that out of the way, and do I do every single thing? Oh, no, we got two things to choose from, home crafting, and I think baptism of fire was the first one. How about home crafting, this guy here? It's recommended to do stuff here with squad commanding, extinguishing fires, and establishing hose. Calling a person's phone. So screw it, don't show me this and start dumb. And this is what I was talking about. You got your own player here and three different AIs that are available. You can either be with somebody in multiplayer, which is kind of shoddy right now, or just roll with the AI. And the AI is fairly smart in this game. Like, they can attack their own lines and stuff like that, but you can also give commands, which I do know. They can give them commands like to attack this fire or breach this wall, door or whatever, or get this person out of there. And sometimes they can just do it themselves, which it's pretty neat with this game, is that you don't have to command the AI to do everything. They can just learn by themselves, which that's uh, pretty much a hassle that we don't really have to uh, deal with. So we're in the fire station. Not anymore. So turn on emergency lights, siren, and follow this fire engine. We got 4,000 meters to go. Traffic accident. Get the hell out of my way, people. Yeah, that's gonna cost us because they ain't pulling over. Screw them. And two, I'm like riding this fire engine's ass. Let me pass them. Find a way and pass them or something if we can or we just have to just fall behind them just for safety reasons or whatever. And what else is pretty neat, that the AI does have the tendency to pull over, but you have to be like really close to do so. Add traffic accident twice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You hit somebody, the thing just shows up twice as traffic accident. Watch them all disappear. <laughs> You just disappear at the same time once you hit somebody, like, um, I'll pit this guy up here. Let's ram this silver car. Traffic accident twice. Do not scratch him. Yeah, um, put on our taxpayers' money, whatever. And pass this truck, and I swear, make this heaping right turn. <laughs> we probably would've flipped over right there, but we ain't gonna flip over because he got them solid, solid-ass sway bars in this fire engine. Well, now the fire, according to the dispatch, it's really started to spread, and the victims inside, they don't know if they've been evacuated or not. And we're about a mile to go, about uh, 1,600 meters, which I think that is a mile in Imperial standards. So under a mile, going highway speeds of 62, which I think 62 is capped out. We've been going at this speed forever. And watch out here, and we got the smoke way up ahead. Wow, that was pretty close. And once hit C to change camera angles, we got the interior view. Where are my arms? <laughs> and we got our crew members. We got these two here, the passenger, and this one in the back, the back right of my screen. Well, mo right most portion of the screen. That was pretty close. And I missed my turn. Well, they can make this left turn here, so don't let off the gas. Uh, pretty good to get on the gas, or brake. Fast driving time expired. And screw you, man. Like, what do you want me to be, going 100,000 miles an hour to be on the scene for something? 
400 meters of the scene. Screw you, sign. Traffic accident, X2. Man, I'm a horrible fire engine driver. All right, make this left turn here, and I think that's our parking spot. Slow way down. Don't stop for nothing. And back up a little. Perfect our parking. And are we good? Uh, exit one standing, E. We've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a few spots. Good job. Thanks to Thomas Edison on a 360 check. I skipped this cutscene. So, um, get a supply line, which I think you get the compartments here. Okay, hose is inside. Equip the attack hose, just like that, and remove the cap to connect, to connect the attack line. And then we grab a uh, supply, um, where's the nozzle at? Oh, nozzle's in the back, so we equip the nozzle. And then I think we couple it, a uh, couple nozzle to hold, eat a couple, and... Good. Okay, we're all good to go. And with the one, two, and three, I believe that is our AI. And I think we just um, do that. Told this dude to stand there. <laughs> How about we get the AI to breach? Unlock the door. Number two is gonna go. So get a tool. I think he grabs like an axe or whatever, and he'll break the door open for us. So here is the AI. I'm hitting tab to go through the menu selection, and the AI will do just that. And there is sparks going all over, so where is the electrical fuse box? Let me drop this and find this real quick because this is getting pretty bad. Is it in the inside? I'm hearing zappity zap zap. I need to get a breach tool because we got a problem here. Non-traversable windows. Yeah, they got bars. This is acting like it's South Central Los Angeles or something. So I need to hurry the hell up and grab a axe, whatever, just to break those windows open to get the victims out of there. So, uh, probably two. I think this is good enough to just smash the window. Right? Yep, good enough. He just did a little smashing animation. So get the victim out of there, shut the fuse box, and then work out a fire because water and electricity, they do not mix well. Smash. Traverse through the window right here, and open the door. I forgot I need to hold E to open, not just tap to open. And we got a victim down, and we got a lot of smoke. Do you know if you get F? Yeah, you got a flashlight. And let's stay on the ground, because if you go above, you're gonna um, really choke with the smoke. Disconnect electricity. Can I disconnect it with the victim on top of me? Yes, I can, so that's good. Get him out of here, and work on the fires. And what are these two doing? Work on a damn fire, brother. Hey, Chief. The victims in there. I know, right? He's right there. Let's get that fire out. Yeah, get that fire out, man. Walk in the house and focus on this right here. So uh, let's move in a little because we got the fire right here. And what are you two doing? Get a freaking fire line. I have to somehow command them to get a, an attack line going and get these firemen to not die. Like, look at them. <laughs> They're like inches away from the fire, and he's going to get out of there. How about you? Are you going to get out of there? Yes, you are, because it's getting hot in here, and you don't want to burn. So all we got here is just the living room. Ready at rally point. What the hell is that noise? An airplane or something? So I'm going to focus on the right side of the living room, mostly on the TV, and looks like the windows or the dining room or something? Looks like that's at the dining room, it seems like. Fast, mission time expired. Man, screw you. This is what firemen do in a living, especially in a big, big city. They take their time, but not to the point where uh, a bit of collapse is going to happen. It starts to collapse. So really start to double down on this fire. Like, some of the fires are, like, relighting itself, especially when the TV kind of got down, and it's starting to relight again. And watch the rollovers on the roof for the fire to not to roll over. That's the big concerns here. So does it spread on top of us into another room, making it more of a hassle. And get this desk, too. This is really starting to come up. And the roof portion of the desk. Get that done. Start to move in. All right, here you go. Start to move in on the couch by these plants here. And then get on the roof here above the couch. And next to the desk region, that started to, like, roll a little. Let's kind of work our way up rather than just going this, 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 this. Let's just gradually contain the fire and then just compact itself. And then we'll get all the fires quenched. All right, start on the TV again. And then work our way down with the walls. And then move in into the dining room section. And then compact it down and fully contain this living room. And then fully contain this fire. Teamwork. Tell every AI to quench the fire. Good. Our living room is just about done. Well, it's starting to come back again. We're going to work our way up to the kitchen. Took um, a little over a minute to quench most of the fires. And wow, that's relighting itself. I need help over here, man. All right, AI is moving in. The pink guy is moving in. Starting to quench that ceiling. I'm going to work our way around the table, like in the table and around it. So we can get this fire done. 
Okay, I've been staying for the last several times. All right, he's starting to come back in the living room. Quench this again. Get the ceiling. He's going to get the ceiling. I'm going to work our way on the right. And then to the center, to the left. And I think that'll be it with the fire. It's just this section of the dining room. All right, really starting to make some progress. We got the right coming on again. The AI is going to do it. We're like... Getting close to the dining room table, and I'm really starting to get used to, like, where to, like, point the hose at the fire and everything. And it's really starting to come along. We got the left side of the curtains now done, and now the right side of the curtains in this little cabinet. And I think that'll be it, and I've seen the ceiling. This is, like, hella charred. Let's stop, uh, let's keep going going. Let's not stop. Okay, debriefing. All fires are quenched. And I've seen earlier, the ceiling was, like, super, super charred. Well, not anymore. We got debriefing, and zero... Good, and I swear, we can keep going, and we can <laughs> we can keep going. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> look at the fire, look at the hose, and everything. <laughs> so that's funny. You can keep on going, and everything, and we can skip. Let's uh stop doing ourselves, professionalize, and everything. Batten down the hatches, burning news unlocked, and look at all this stuff going. You saved my life. Well, good. Driving time medium, mission time medium. Challenge bonus 750. And we use 280 liters of water. What is that in gallons? Like 90, 100 gallons or something like that. Let's do this one. It's going to be our last one is the burning news. We'll be doing this one. We got our boy Jack, Tom, Bill, and me. So let's start out in the only one, the Rosenbar TP3 fire engine. So we're going to be live at the firehouse in this here fire engine. Roll up on scene and do what firefighters do. Extinguish the fire. Saving lives. And whoopity whoop dude, there goes the priority siren. We gotta use our headlights now because we are at night. And not even though, hey, we got the smoke already in sight. We got 1,800 meters to go, a little over a mile. So we are going into downtown. We are in Midtown right now. And about this map, it's like a mid-sized map, probably like your usual like 150, 200,000 like inhabited sized town of the population and everything. And uh, it's a fairly big city. People like call like a mini metropolis or microtropolis or whatever. Not like your big, big cities like it's Philadelphia, Detroit, New York, LA, all that stuff. But it's a yay-sized city, believe it or not. So we are in downtown, according to the map, a little over a thousand meters ago, I'm riding his ass, traffic accident, okay, this time it says traffic accident one time, not two times, and he's slowing down big time, cut him off, and do that, huh. cut the damn fire engine off, pass him, and just roll up in downtown, whatever city name this is, to the fire, which is definitely in sight, according to smoke right there. And I swear if I roll up on scene, it's gonna say fast mission time or driving time expired or something stupid. I swear if we can get a fast mission time bonus or driving time bonus and eventually get to the mission time bonus too. Try to really get that XP going. So getting close to on scene, over 200 something meters to go, going around, looks like rural highway speeds. So swerve right, lag spike. Yeah, screw the newspaper, man. Hashtag not fake news. And what what were those? What the? What was going on there? I seen some like GPU like out of bounds type of stuff or something. Look at that. Is that the reflection of the fire or something or what? So the newsstand is fully engulfed, it seems like. So this is the basic fire, not like another big time structure fire and all that stuff. Urban Touch. So what is that, a magazine or something? So the AI, our only AI is doing the work. These two are just sitting back and relaxing, doing what they always do. And let's get a supply line going. We got, oh, this fire engine. Can we use their fire engine's uh, supply line? Let's see, where do we have to go? Nozzles. Uh, where's our axe? Let's first do the nozzle. Equip a nozzle, which I think this is not much of a practical way. And uh, fast mission time expired. Screw you, man. We can enter the basket. Remove the cap and get a supply line going. So supply lines are on the other side, right? Somewhere's over here. We got something came up. The outriggers. Is that like the thing that stabilizes when you got the basket out, the ladder? So nozzles, axes, extinguishers, outriggers, extinguishers. Is this our line? Attack hose, it's in the back. Oh, equip the attack hose. And, uh, we'll go somewhere, so go right here to... Come on, man. You gonna make things simple, grab our supply line, and see what it's like getting in that basket there, the engine ladder. So grab our hose, our attack hose, supply hose, and then grab a supply line, remove the cap to attack the line, and that's the attack hose. I'm dumb. Average mission time expired. Yeah, because I'm dumb over here, man. And now the nozzle, couple it. Good. 
And let's see if we can get on this basket here. Can we climb up or do you have to like bring it down and bring it up and well, whatever. It's pretty much useless. Probably another episode. So this is pretty much what it is. Wow, I didn't even have to do any work. <laughs> and I swear, we could shoot the fire straight up in the sky. I walked less than a tenth of a mile. Slow. Yeah, I am slow. So that'll do it with Firefighting Simulator The Squad. This is a neat little sim game in the firefighting world, to be honest. They really went above and beyond with the fire and smoke physics in this game, which is nearly realistic. I really recommend that you try this game out. Whether if it's just you playing alone, or if the multiplayer bugs are fixed, just play with someone else that you do or don't know. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to continue with this series, and also be sure to subscribe if you're brand new around here so you don't miss out on any of their sim games in the future. So this has been Mr. Jack and Triple Zero. I'll see you in the next video.